What's up creatives and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about the Canon EOS R and shooting a music video with it. I shot a music video with it the other day and I just wanted to talk about my experiences using it because I used to be a GH5 user and the GH5 was amazing at music videos. So I just wanted to kind of talk about the differences between using this and the GH5. So before we get started, in case you guys are new here, my name is David. I am a 21 year old content creator that's photo and video and just social media all around. And I'm here to help you make better content for yourself. So today we're going to talk about these differences and there's so many different things. There's so many things that I loved about the GH5 and there's a lot of things that I love about the EOS R. So I definitely want to talk about this for you guys because I know that music videos is a huge thing, especially today, especially for those people coming up. They really want to start shooting music videos and getting involved in video in general. So I wanted to give you guys a quick idea of what I feel like the USR is good for when it comes to music videos, because it is a huge factor and a lot of people want to start doing it. So let's get started. So I think that the biggest thing when it comes to the two cameras is image stabilization. Now the image stabilization on the Panasonic GH5 was crazy. It's absolutely amazing. I could do handheld footage for days and it would look like it was shot on a gimbal because that's just how insane stabilization is, especially because it's in-camera stabilization. And then you can, on top of that, you can use an IS lens, an image stabilized lens to double stabilize it and make it super amazing. And then just throw some warp stabilization in post-production if you wanted to, but you definitely didn't have to because the GH5 had amazing stabilization capabilities. When it comes to this camera, the USR, it does have image stabilization, but the thing is when it came to the image stabilization on this, it crops in a little bit and it isn't as good as the GH5. Of course, you can stack it with an IS lens once again, but it's still not as good when it comes to the image stabilization on the GH5, which was 10 times more amazing and I loved it so much. I definitely wish I still had it for music videos, but at the same time, I didn't think that I would use it that often. One thing that Canon does have beat over the GH5 is the color. The color science is amazing. The GH5 has the log profile made from Panasonic, but the Canon has C-Log included, built in. You get that flat Canon profile with the beautiful colors that you can color grade to. So the Canon definitely wins when it comes to the color. The color is amazing on this. Image quality across both is absolutely amazing. I love the GH5 look, but I hate the color. The color on it is just so orange orange and very green very I mean it is it's pretty good it's very nice you have control over it but I feel like it's 10 times less work when you're shooting on the Canon and the Canon image quality is also amazing it also has 4k the only issue is this does not have 4k 60 the GH5 does have 4k 60 so if you felt like you needed to shoot in 10 bit or 4k 60 the GH5 has all of that, definitely a lot more quality and resolution options over the Canon EOS R, but the EOS R still has very good 4K and very good 1080. Both cameras do have focus peaking. Focus peaking is pretty much an indicator to help you decide or show you what is in focus. It basically outlines what's in focus in blue or yellow or red or whatever color you set it to. Um, both cameras have it. I was using a small HD702 monitor, which also has focus peaking on it. So I definitely made sure that things were in sharp focus. I used it for both cameras. Pretty much there isn't really a factor that differentiates them for me. Personally, I think that they both have amazing focus peaking capabilities. So there's that. They both have a flip out screen like this. So you can, you know, maneuver around if you need to. What I do like about the Canon EOS R is that when you plug in the monitor, you are still able to see what's on the screen here. And I really love that because if I wanted to autofocus, I could just touch the screen to focus and I didn't have to just 
manually focus and that is another thing if you're shooting a music video on the gh5 definitely make sure that you know you're going to be manual focusing because the autofocus on the gh5 is not good at all the eos r has amazing autofocus so if you don't want to manual focus and you want to keep that autofocus on because maybe your subject moving around too much use the eos r it has face detection it has amazing autofocus and it will keep up with your subject if that's what you want the eos r is definitely for you because autofocus is a huge 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 factor if you can't manual focus now that all depends on your capabilities your preference and what you want to do of course even if you want to autofocus and switch over to manual focus for specific shots the usr is for you but the gh5 is manual focus only as far as i can tell the autofocus is bad i've used it for a year and a half maybe two years and the autofocus never really cut out for me so and aside from that i think that is all i think personally i would still prefer the gh5 over the us r for music videos just because of that amazing image stabilization i feel like i could do such amazing things with it plus the ability to use a speed booster on the gh5 i so a speed booster is pretty much gives you an extra stop or two of aperture and that really does wonders for me especially when i'm trying to get that amazing isolation look i used to shoot all my music videos at a 1.2 aperture which was super insane i don't know i kind of miss the feel of holding the gh5 and using it for music videos because it just works so well for music videos but that's the only thing i would use it for now because the gh5 is just amazing for those handheld shots i didn't like the color of it the way it was cropped or the the, the anything you know else the technical aspect to it was amazing but the images that came out of it when it came to the color and the stuff i just i definitely prefer the canon it is completely up to you what you guys want to use i think canon color is amazing this camera definitely cuts it if you guys just want to add some image stabilization to your shots afterwards i think that the canon eos r would definitely make an amazing fit for music videos and you can definitely use it for other things because the GH5 is not very much of a hybrid camera. It does take photos. It, the image quality is not so great though. So I think that the USR is a more bang for your buck if you want to get it. It is almost, what is it, $700, $800 more than the GH5, but you're getting a lot more out of it. Plus you can get some Canon lenses if you have other Canon bodies. And you can use this to take photos. It has amazing image quality, amazing video quality. You get so much more out of it. So, yeah, that is all. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys aren't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Stay tuned for the next video. If you guys have any actual requests or anything you guys want to learn or know, let me know in the comments below. I will definitely give you guys... A look and see what I can do to help you guys out just let me know in the comments below and I hope to see you guys in the next video thanks so much have an amazing day morning night and wherever you're watching from and I'll see you then peace